Hey there, welcome back to Calico Cow Acres. My name is Michaela and I'm happy you're here. The garden is so close to being done, you guys. And so are the footings for the chicken coop. Taylor is finishing those right now, like as I'm talking to you. I think he's on his last one. Hopefully I'll be able to run over there and show you before he finishes up too quickly. And then we can finally move on to the next stage of the chicken coop. I'm going to attempt to finish tilling the beds that need to be tilled. I'm not sure I'll be able to get all of them done because it looks like it's gonna rain, but that's my goal because I'm really, really, really ready to be done tilling and I want to move on and be like at the peaceful stage of gardening where I can just put seeds in the ground. If I can get that done, tomorrow's plan is to get seeds in the ground. I'm gonna do melons, pumpkins, maybe green beans and cucumbers, and a boatload of flowers. going here. Is that a uh, last one? You're adding lots of sweat to it. <laughs> Are you excited? I'm super excited because I didn't even have to mix that last bag I brought down here. Now you have to bring it back. Thanks. I just got back from the chiropractor and I'm doing a little walk on our property to go check the status of all of our dewberries. They're like, I don't remember if I've mentioned this yet, but they're, uh, they're just like a different kind of blackberry. They're very invasive, but I'm hoping that they're delicious. <laughs> we have a whole bunch of huge patches of them out here on our trails. So I'm coming to check on them. I've been checking them every few days because they have been really, really perking up and they had flowers all over them a little while ago. Holy crap, that's a big snake. Just about had a heart attack. Can't miss those things. I'm always worried I'm not gonna see it and step on it, but there's no way I'm gonna step on that without seeing it. Dang. That thing's gotta be as like, as long as I am tall. I don't know what kind of snake it is. I don't know anything about snakes. Occupational hazards of filming while you walk on rural property. You might step on a dang snake. Alright, this is our biggest patch that I've found. It's like this entire area, so we're not even going to be able to get to most of them, but you can see there are flowers on some of them still. Right. No berries yet, but they're well on their way, if you can see that. We have plans for these guys. It's literally this entire patch. Like, all of those are berries. So, like I said, they are called dewberries. They look exactly like blackberries to me. Once they're actually fruit, I looked them up. But the plants actually look a little bit different. Just a fun fact. We're excited. I have a few things I want to make. I want to try making some jam. I want to try freezing some of them for smoothies. And I want to, I just got an ice cream maker. So I'm excited to try and make some dewberry ice cream. On this episode of Invasive Plants, we have honeysuckle. This is a bunch of Japanese honeysuckle. It's all over the place. It, it is literally everywhere. We have butterflies love it. That is another thing that I want to try making ice cream out of. I think honeysuckle gelato would be so good. But yeah, I wish you could smell what our property smells like right now because it just 
smells absolutely like honeysuckle and nothing else. And it's one of the, one of my favorite things I've experienced about our farm so far. I did make my first batch of ice cream ever last night. It turned out better than I could have imagined. Literally the best ice cream I've ever had and it was like my first try. Um, it was Fruity Pebble ice cream. I've been missing my Fruity Pebble ice cream from our Michigan local ice cream shop, so I decided to make it. We got the bolts we need. I think Taylor got the drill bit he needs and hopefully it'll work. Um, he's gonna test it out before he buys a hammer drill. And then we got two of the four by four posts that we're gonna need so we can measure things out and see if eight foots are gonna work correctly for what we wanna do. We also got two two by two furring strips to go along with that testing. <laughs> I don't really know what his plans are for that, but um, he said he wants to test it, so. I am out in the garden now and I am going to quickly sow some seeds and then I gotta find Ricky. I don't know where he is, but he needs to eat some dinner and go inside because we are going out to dinner tonight. <music> patches where the peas died off or they just didn't come up so I think I'm gonna fill them in with cucumber seeds really quick I might plant more squash do a couple different kinds I think that's probably enough we don't really have any other bigger bare spots than that so those should be fine as is and i'm gonna water them in really quick and see if they grow that's what we're doing here seeing things grow gonna be the lowest one okay but I would like you to look at it as well and see if you think that yeah, so now this is where you do. I don't know exactly how like this is where a laser would be cool as usual we're going to the store <laughs> we need to get a laser level
So we have to buy that other drill. Yeah. We decided to risk it and get the Harbor Freight laser level. Absolutely does not work. Like, I don't even know if it'll work when it's dark out. We're gonna try it though. We need to get a hammer drill. Taylor wanted to test out his drill first with a, like the right bit and that also did not work. <laughs> so tonight's kind of just like a, a loss out here, but the, the garden's getting watered. I got some garden snacks in the form of peas and a couple raspberries. And I think we might try and do the level once it gets a little darker out here. But as you can see, the sun is still very bright. Other than that, we are just going to have an inside night. I'm working on writing an ebook. So I think I'm gonna go sit my booty on the couch and work on that and just have a chill night. We'll see if we can get that level working. And if not, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. What are you doing? In case you guys wanted to see in real time how well my insect netting was working for keeping Ricky out of the bed, I caught this little snippet on, on uh, the camera for you. Just finishing up work, heading out here. It's almost six. The guys are hanging out here talking and they're gonna work on some chicken cooping. I think we might have finally figured out what we need to do after the catastrophe that yesterday was. And I'm making ice cream and feeding the cats. So it's been rainy. I don't know if I'm gonna get anything done out here tonight. I might help them. Okay, so yesterday we tried to do this with your normal drill. Yeah, my normal drill is not a hammer drill. <laughs> that didn't work. Did not. Um, well, figured it'd be worth a shot. So. It made it made this. Fine. Well, a portion of this little pile of dust. Yeah, that one's fully drilled now. So, I'm gonna draw these two because these are the ones that I, we marked yesterday. You still have the chalk on them? Hey, Ricky. No, but I, I used Sharpie after we chalked them. Okay. And then... Are you just doing those ones? Well, I'm going to do these two, and then I'm probably going to make Hunter help me <laughs> mark out the rest of them. Ricky. This bit walks a lot more than the other one. <laughs> Tell you what, the pro Sharpie is doing the trick. You know how many cords I've seen cut in half from a skill saw? <laughs> Between me and you, I don't think Taylor has a clue on what he's doing. Just between us, he has no idea. No idea. He must not have got the Sharpie Pro Platinum. That one marks underwater. Oh, I got it to work. A boogie on your face. Oh, it's mud. We'll put the brackets in like loose with the anchor bolts. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pull the string again and just use that to kind of like align all the edges of the brackets. So that way all the pole, the post edges or, you know, surfaces will be aligned when they go in the bracket. So yeah, I mean, if you ever need a place to stay, there'll be room in this chicken. <laughs> God dang, that's a big one.
Yeah, don't breathe any of this. <laughs> are you talking to me or you two? You. Oh. He ain't talking to me, that's for sure. <laughs> Hunter knows his OSHA. <laughs> If you want to get the hammer drill and follow me and just re-drill all the way. <laughs> Round two of the circus. I'm just laughing that he's wearing flip flops. Oh god, this one's like an inch off. You just went to the top of the dust. Probably, man. <laughs> gonna have to redo all these. We reached the stage of we have two done. I mean, if it blows the concrete out, it's gonna do it like five inches down and I'm not gonna see it anyway, so. That means it basically didn't happen. <laughs> All right, let's go eat some bin. Hey guys, it's Friday night and I am just heading out to start tilling the rest of my melon patch. This week has really not been like super productive for me out here. Work has been very stressful for me this week and yesterday was kind of a rainy day. I kind of just puttered around while the guys worked on stuff um, in the chicken coop area. I would like to say that we made progress. They made some good progress. I really didn't help that much and I would have tried to till in the rain but they needed the extension cords and we only have two and they needed both of them. <laughs> I am going to get right on it today. I don't think they're going to need the extension cords tonight. They're both still inside and they're going to wrap up what they were doing yesterday over there. They were attaching brackets to the footings because the footings are finally all poured yay and I think they're going to like line them all up make sure they're all straight and in the right spots and sometime this weekend we should be putting up some posts which is really cool because it's going to be visual progress that you can see from not just like standing right there like i should be able to see it from up here in the garden I'm so excited um i'm gonna get tilling i have a lot to till <laughs> so let's get tilling i just tilled that entire bed and i like did it in a specific way so that it would look cool on camera and i realized after i finished that my battery must have died almost as soon as I got started, so you don't get to see any of that. And I'm a little bit sad, I'm a little bit sad because I was pretty excited <laughs> to like look back at the footage of that. But the bed is done. I just came inside to grab another battery and to feed Mr. Ricky Do. But I'm gonna head back out there. I'll show you the tilled bed. And I'm really sweaty. I had to put <laughs> I had to put shorts on. The bugs are gonna just eat me alive, but that's how it is. I would rather be eaten a lot by bugs than be as, as sweaty as I just got from being out there in the heat with sweatpants on. So I don't know what I'm going to do now. I think I might rake that into... How's it going down here? Uh, I mean, not bad. Mounting them or turning these, how we're turning them is making it so we physically can't align them. Good stuff. So <laughs> it's going to be a little bit out when mm. you look down the straight edges of it. But That's not that big of a deal. I think like the furthest one out is probably three inches. <laughs> it's probably like three eighths. That's not bad at all. I think that's only gonna bother you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I know. The chickens probably won't mind. Oh. What are you gonna do after this? I might throw a post in a couple of these and see how that goes. Yeah, we should have done the end brackets and then marked a line. All right, let's try this whole filming a video thing again. I think I'm gonna quickly rake this into 
either a level surface or like try to do some semi mounds because I plan on doing small mounds for the melons. See how it works out. I do have to add compost and probably some topsoil to this too. I might just have to make the mounds with that depending on how much I can actually rake this up because I didn't till it like super deep or anything so it's just the top is loose. <laughs> I was able to make 18, 18 mounds out of here. Ricky's laying on one of them. He's gonna love this bed. <laughs> He'll probably tunnel through it. Um, so yeah, that's a lot of melons. I might actually put some of the squash or pumpkins in here as well because the other beds that I have are a little bit smaller than this one, quite a bit smaller than this one. They're probably each half the size of this, so. We might have to uh, swap some things around a little. I'd rather have more winter squash that I can like save throughout the winter or pumpkins just for fun <laughs> um, than I would melons because they they don't last very long even though I do plan on freezing as much as I can because I love them in smoothies and I feel like that would be a really cool way to preserve them. How do you preserve melons if you do? Or do you not? I don't know. I don't really have a plan for that yet. <laughs> it's getting dark and late and I need to go inside and make some dinner. I'm hoping in the next video you'll get to see all the posts going up for the chicken coop and run and it's going to be a lot of progress finally. <laughs> um, so I'm excited to show you that. I hope you liked the video and if you did it would be so cool if you would like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! <laughs>